Hello everyone. My name is Ashish Ray, VP of Products within the Oracle Database Development Organization. Welcome to this year's Oracle Database World Multi-Cloud and AI Edition. As part of this session, I'm excited to talk about the next generation intelligent data architecture for multi-cloud. From a multi-cloud data architecture standpoint, what are the requirements that stand out? Number one, the data infrastructure has to be consistent across multiple clouds. It cannot be the case that you deploy a specialized architecture for one cloud and recreate it completely from scratch using a different architecture in another cloud. So it has to be consistent. The infrastructure also has to enable deep data intelligence. By that, what I mean, it cannot be comprised of a generic assortment of servers, storage, and network. This infrastructure has to understand that we are dealing with data processing and data IO. So it needs to have the smartness and intelligence to deal with data. And on that note, especially in the context of multi-cloud, extreme levels of availability, performance, scalability, reliability, and security are of utmost importance. Let's see with that setting, how Oracle's strategy for data plays out. Oracle's strategy for data is to build best of breed support for all data types, all workloads, and engineer them to work together using a converged data architecture. What do I mean by workloads? Workloads could be mission critical workloads, it could be deep analytic workloads, it could be in-memory workloads, it could be today's modern AI workloads. The underlying data types work in tandem. The data engine has to support all sophisticated data types, starting with relational, analytic data types, JSON, XML, AI vector, spatial, graph, all of these data types need to be co-engineered to satisfy modern workloads. And fundamentally, the data engine, the underlying data engine also has to be deeply integrated and engineered to support these data types and modern workloads. By data engine, I talk about the semantics of high availability, performance, reliability, security, transaction support. All of this need to be co-engineered in one engine. And that is Oracle's strategy for data, which is especially relevant in the context of multi-cloud. I talked about strategy for data. How about strategy for database systems? Our strategy is to build best of breed data and AI optimized hardware and software that are engineered to work together everywhere. And by everywhere, I mean on premises, I mean hybrid cloud, and definitely in the context of this session, I mean multi-cloud. So on that note, let's look into Exadata Database Machine, which is the de facto platform for deploying mission critical workloads across all these deployment form factors. With that said, what is Exadata's vision for multi-cloud? Exadata as the Oracle database machine enables extreme performance, scalability, and availability for data and AI workloads for all deployments at the lowest cost. How does this enable that? Number one, comprised of data-optimized hardware, which means scale out data-optimized compute, networking, and storage. Number two, and this is very important, data intelligence software. It's a collection of unique algorithms with deep intelligence that deliver extreme performance and efficiency for all modern workloads, starting with AI, analytics, and of course, mission critical workloads at any scale. And the third element of this vision, we have engineered this platform such that it can run everywhere without any changes. On premises, cloud at customer, that is hybrid cloud, Oracle Cloud, that's OCI, and of course, with multi-cloud. So I talked about Exadata now being available everywhere. What does this mean? 
Now it means the Exadata Extreme Performance is now available in every leading cloud. That of course includes Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, that's OCI. Now it includes Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, and AWS. This means you as a customer can co-locate your applications and Exadata for the highest performance. Thereby you can get full Oracle database and Exadata functionality and compatibility at the extreme levels of performance that you desire for your multi-cloud deployments. Today, thousands of global customers run their business on Exadata. Exadata supports all modern workloads across these customers. Exadata supports AI workloads for data. It supports petabyte warehouses for these customers. Many of these customers run their supercritical systems on Exadata. Financial trading, process manufacturing, e-commerce. Many of these customers deploy the sophisticated applications running complex business logic on Exadata, SAP, Oracle, Siebel, PeopleSoft. And Exadata also enables immense levels of database consolidation, driving up productivity and lowering cost for these customers. The latest generation of Exadata, which is Exadata X11M, is what enables this intelligent data architecture for multi-cloud. When you look at the hardware, as I mentioned before, it's comprised of data-optimized hardware, starting off with scale-out two-socket database servers based on the latest AMD EPIC processors up to 96 cores per socket, latest fastest memory, with which we have enabled 33% faster than the previous generation, connected with the storage layer with ultra-fast low latency, two by 100 gigabits RDMN network, and then the storage layer enables a lot of the intrinsic storage intelligence for Exadata. Comprised of latest fastest flash, again, much faster than the previous generation, latest fastest Exadata RDMA memory, enabling 33% faster than the previous generation, latest AMD EPIC processors up to 11% faster than x m and all of this capacity, the performance, and the scale enable highest levels of performance for all your multi-cloud workloads. But really, you have to keep in mind, along with the hardware, the unique data intelligence software. It is the software that enables orders of magnitude higher performance than competitive database systems. So we talked about the Exadata platform. What about the workloads? With the platform characteristics, Exadata X11M, intelligent data architecture, delivers extreme performance for all workloads, especially important in multi-cloud. Let's look into each of these workloads, extreme AI search, extreme OLTP, and extreme analytics. With Exadata's performance metrics across these workloads, Exadata allows you to spend less by doing more. Let's look into this in more details. For AI search within Exadata, we have done automatic optimization in the Exadata layer. That means AI vector search can be now transparently offloaded to intelligent Exadata storage, and that enables up to 30 times faster AI vector queries out of the box. AI vector queries now are completely and automatically parallelized across the storage servers, and individually, each storage server can compute the top K matches, which enables faster top K processing compared to generic storage systems. And all of this work in tandem to support extreme scale environments with thousands of concurrent AI vector searches. These are some of the essential benefits of storage layer that is data intelligent. We talked about AI workloads. What about extreme OLTP workloads in multi-cloud? That's where also the Exadata data infrastructure shines. Exadata enables the fastest OLTP compute with unique RDMA algorithms for inter-node cluster coordination. So that eliminates any latency bottlenecks 
for this cluster communication that happens in the context of active-active cluster deployments on Exadata. We also enable fastest OLTP I.O. with unique RDMA algorithms that enables low latency, fast communication and I.O. between the database servers and the storage servers using shared XR MIME flash in scale-out storage. Along with it, we also enable fastest recovery from unplanned downtime with instant detection of failed or sick components. So NetNet, you see, architecturally, we have architected the platform to enable extreme levels of OLTP in multi-cloud. And this is also shown in some of our performance metrics. When we compare our own performance metrics, Exadata X11M in multi-cloud, the IO latency can be as low as 14 microseconds, which is significantly better than the IO latencies one can observe in the other cloud providers. We talked about AI vector search workloads. We talked about OLTP workloads. What about analytics workloads? How about the Exadata architecture, which enables extreme analytics in workloads? That's where a lot of the Exadata smartness comes in. For example, unique smart scan automatically offloads data-intensive SQL operations to storage. Exadata software uses a combination of smart flash cache and storage indexing to automatically accelerate database I.O. for analytics. And then it also enables unique columnarization to convert data to fast in-memory columnar format in flash and memory for extreme analytics performance. So this means Exadata as a platform is the fastest for complex queries on the largest data volumes and at the lowest cost. With this architecture that supports analytics workloads, how does Exadata's analytics throughput compare with other cloud providers? Exadata X11M, multi-cloud storage server, supports 500 gigabytes per second, a single storage server, which is significantly higher from an analytics workload throughput standpoint compared to what you may find with AWS Redshift and AWS RDS. In essence, this means with Exadata in multi-cloud, Exadata for analytics is faster than AWS on AWS. So we talked about the performance with regards to vector search, OLTP, and analytics. How does this all of this work together to drive extreme efficiency? In that, we can analyze this with regards to three dimension, performance efficiency, utilization efficiency, and administration efficiency. What this means is more efficiency enables less costs. Let's look at performance efficiency. With performance efficiency, essentially this means Exadata enables more workloads on fewer systems using less time. To you, this means less hardware, which translates to lower costs. Following performance efficiency comes Exadata's utilization efficiency. This enables you to spend less by consolidating more. More workloads, more data, more users. Exadata supporting more workloads also requires Exadata enabling unique prioritization of latency sensitive operations such as logs, cache fusion, commits, and OLTP IO. This goes back to the deep data intelligence that we talked about. Exadata systems also enable more data to be resident within the Exadata storage system by uniquely compressing analytics and archival data through hybrid columnar compression. Exadata also supports more users by uniquely prioritizing CPU and IO by user, job, service, session, and SQL. This means more consolidation leading to lower costs. We talked about performance efficiency, utilization efficiency. What about administrative efficiency? And that's where automation comes in. With the Exadata automation, you spend less by managing less. 
Exadata as a platform automates a lot of aspects related to platform hardening, tuning, and securing. On top of it, Exadata Cloud automates infrastructure management. And then finally, Autonomous Database takes it one step further. It automates complete database management. What does this mean? More automation leads to lower costs and more innovation. When you look at the Exadata Innovation Trail, Exadata Data Intelligence advantages increase every year. And this is absolutely unique in the industry. And Exadata X11M, which is now the platform for deploying your data workloads in multi-cloud deployments, it delivers dramatic improvements for the same price compared to the previous generation. As you see in this slide, starting off from 2008, the innovation journey has continued. And it's a unique combination of hardware sophistication and software optimizations co-engineered together at the deep level to enable these extreme levels of performance scale, availability, and reliability. With this rich innovation history and the journey of Exadata, what are the key takeaways for deploying Exadata as the database system in multi-cloud? Number one, Exadata enables extreme performance with X11M at the same price. This means Exadata accelerates all workloads, AI, OLTP, and analytics. It's faster for all workloads than other systems in multi-cloud at an incredible price performance advantage. We have also seen how Exadata enables extreme efficiency levels, which save on resources, money, and time. With the Exadata as the underlying database system in multi-cloud, you can run more workloads, deploy more data, support more users using fewer system and lower costs. And built-in automation enables increased innovation. And finally, we have also seen how Exadata can be deployed everywhere. Exadata X11M is now available on-premises, cloud at customer, that's hybrid cloud, Oracle Cloud, that's OCI, and multi-cloud in Azure, Google Cloud, and AWS. Customers can now enjoy the same rich Oracle database functionality, 100% compatible across these clouds, and migrate to a cloud deployment with zero downtime using our zero downtime migration solution. Thank you for watching this session on data intelligent architecture in multi-cloud.